Raiders? No. No, they the, they shouldn't have stormed the Capitol building. That was wrong. But even still, the cop who shot him, it's definitely an unarmed person. How about her? How about those people? They were unarmed. They're carrying flags. Since All of a sudden, Joe Biden, it's okay to have a flag because it's Joe Biden, right? You're not even allowed to criticize Joe Biden or you get taken off of all the different media platforms. That's not Big Brother. I'm listening to 1984 right now. I'm only into Chapter 2. I was going to read it, but the guy reads it for me. I'm all right with that. I've done a lot of reading audio books. But anyway, just the first two chapters alone is what we're seeing right now. The censorship. Big Brother telling you what to believe. Half the country saying, you're lying, you don't know, and you're, you want to bring us down. No, we support democracy. We support the Constitution. We support the amendments. What this Democrat progressive socialist party promotes is racism. They're actually instituting it into the programs of America. You don't think that's going to cause problems? They're instituting it. That's insanity. They're instituting censorship in every form. Really? So people can't have an alternative view than yours? Otherwise, it's illegal? We're going to lock you up? We're going to arrest you? We're going to... Come on, man. In what country? I think Democrats are going to be the ones who uprise. It's going to be you folks. It ain't going to be me. I see what's coming. Along with 80 other million Americans. I still don't know what's going to happen January 20th. I pray I'm, I pray it's peaceful. But I still don't know. That poor girl got killed, and that might have set off a lot of people who are ready to say, screw it. I don't know. I'm not calling for that. I hope it doesn't happen. I hope people wake up and they watch what all of these different politicians are trying to put into our system in America, destroy the system, age of consent in California, 14, really? Legalizing marijuana, uh, not marijuana, you can legalize that everywhere, it's actually a God's gift to us. They don't want you to know that, the big pharma, but heroin? I don't think so. Cocaine? I tried it back in the day. It was great stuff, too expensive. You can't do that. Well, I may have allegedly tried it, I should say. But it's not good. Neither is what they're promoting. We're going to let everybody out of prison. Just let them out. Eh, we don't need a prison anymore. We're going to get rid of them. School choice? Get rid of school choice. Even though statistically through the ages, if you listen to Thomas Sowell and many other legit economists, not Rausch or Reich, however the hell you say his name, that has Obama's ear, and who was at BU the same time as All Out Crazy? No, we should have instituted Thomas Sowell. I'm going to say that till the day I die. Our schools have been screwing us. They're putting the wrong material. The, this new history they're putting in, we're the bad guys? Screw you. You know what? Screw you. You can tell, tell the views from the other side. The history in every country is taught by the winner. I've been to China. They still talk about their bad times and people being killed and all that, but they don't tear it down. It's up there. You can read about it. You can hear, and they think it was a great thing. Tiananmen Square, they think that was great. So do these Democrats, it appears. These I won't even say Democrats, these progressive socialists, whatever the hell they call themselves. I guarantee they think, yeah, you got to squash everything. Look what they're saying just about this at the, at the Capitol building. Look at them. These people all should have been shot. If it was BLM, no. I saw BLM throwing rocks and boulders and hitting cops with baseball bats and a hubcap and lighting everything on fire and shot a dude right in the head. It's on film. You can watch it. Cops weren't shooting. But hell, they let them go in most cases. They let them go. They protected them. And a Trump rally, the people were getting attacked. When they attacked back and said, no, we've had enough, they were arrested. I saw the cops hit them, but they let the little Antifa people go. They let the BLM people go. But no, if you don't agree with the left, you need to be silenced. That's Big Brother, man. That's 1984. This book was not meant to be a goddamn manual. Excuse my French, God. It was meant as a warning, people, and you're walking right into it. And 
my eyes are open. I, I have friends. Oh, you were just blinded by concern. You were blinded by the right. No, I'm not alt right. I'm not even anti-abortion. But there's a price to pay for abortion. You don't go to hell. But I'm telling you, when I get monetized, I'll tell you what God said. It's kind of cruel. I called him an a-hole. I ain't joking. I me. Excuse me. My point being. Wake up, America. You better pay attention to what politicians are pushing, and if you think it's only against one side, that's the scary part. You think, oh, we're going to shut up the conservatives. We're going to shut up the Republicans, or we're going to shut up people who dissent from our views. It's coming for you, too. It's only a matter of time. And what do you do then? Do you cry? Where do you go? Who do you complain to? You brought it in. You allowed it. I'm still praying for America, Biden or no Biden. Like I said, I have hope, but I also have lots of fear. I fear we're going to lose our Constitution, our freedoms, our way of life. It's already coming. You can't even talk to anyone these days without being afraid that you're somehow going to upset them or make them mad. Nobody talks to each other anymore. I talk to everybody. I don't care. But I actually say to them, oh, uh, no offense, but, you know, usually when you say that, you're probably going to offend them. But, you know, I uh, hope I didn't hurt your feelings. Uh, and you can still joke about that, but for now, I'm afraid of what's coming down the pike. I'm afraid of January 20th. And even if that all goes perfectly peaceful, the stuff that these politicians are saying, and the people on CNN, that Don Lemon, you are disgusting, dude. You are just the biggest racist, moronic piece of trash. And your little kid there, Anderson Cooper. Where'd you get that haircut, dude? I thought I got a bad haircut, but you really need some something. Tell your husband to send you to a different barber or some shit. Or maybe you call him a wife. I don't know. I guess we're not supposed to say husband and wife now. That's the newest thing. You can't use mom, dad, daughter, son. Check it out. Nancy Pelosi just pushed, is saying this in the Capitol. You can't use because they denote gender. No shit. We got a, I got two daughters. Am I now going to call them my others? Am I calling them them? What the hell am I supposed to call my daughters? What? You explain it to me because I don't get it. I had enough trouble with goddamn pronouns the first time. If you think I'm learning all your pronouns, kiss my ass. If you're a dude in a dress and you want to be called Mary, hey, okay, Mary, don't mean I'm not getting a chuckle. Sorry. Dude's in a dress been funny since I can't remember his name, but he was a comedian way back in the day. But anyway, where does it stop, America. Where do you stop the censorship? Where do you stop that everything's hate speech? Where do you stop that people can't have an ulterior, an alternate view than you? Or maybe we don't accept that men can become women or women can become men because I believe in God. And I just don't, I respect your right to do it. Even God doesn't, he's not against it, but he wishes you'd do it to adults. Let adults do it to themselves, not with children. I talked about my big video. I tell you what, I'm, I am an a-hole. I ask God, if Mark becomes Mary and goes to heaven, what happens? He didn't answer me, so it's going to be a surprise for you, too. But either way, those are jokes. I did ask him that. But when are we going to stop all the jokes? Are we going to stop being allowed to just make fun of whatever? Everything's going to be hate speech and... This is where we're going. It's a slippery slope, America, and you freaking standing right on the edge. You allowed it in. I'm just watching to see what happens. It's going to be a long show. Anyway, back to 1984. I forget the ending. I don't think it's happy, though. Maybe America will be. God bless. Love you all. We'll see what happens in 2021.